hello friends welcome to another video and in this video we will discuss one more advanced coding question of tcs nqt this question was asked on day 3 so i have already uploaded all the coding questions of day 1 and day 2 of tcs nqt and there you will get the code in c++ java and python so try to solve it and try to go through maximum number of questions okay now now in this video we will see this question uh, which was asked on day 3 now for this video we will discuss the code in java programming languages but i have already made a separate video of same question with python also and with c++ also because many of you wanted the code in c++ so i have made a separate video on all the three languages so for now we will discuss in java if you are familiar with python or c++ you can go through that video okay now coming to the question you can see question is very lengthy but this is the easy question that they have asked okay so there are chances that you can get easy question as well so if you are about to appear in nqt then there uh, it could be that you can get such type of question that we will see or you can get some repeated question repeated does not mean that exact same but at least logic will be same okay so try to solve more number of questions to get the logic so without any further delay we can start so instead of reading you can read it but i will skip it because i will explain you with the help of diagram so the question is like this so there are n players they are playing a game now what is uh, the game all about so the game is that each player will be given some box and that box will contain some sweets and they have to pack it that's all and based on that they will get some score and the person or the player who got the maximum score will be the winner this is the simple game so let us see the test cases then we will understand better so the first line will be the number of players that are playing so in this case two players are playing so next n lines will be the detail of each player so the first line is detail of first player and in each line the zeroth index will determine that how many box the, th that player will get so in case of player 1, 5 is there, it means player 1 will get 5 box. You can see all the 5 boxes and I have made it here also. So these are the boxes given to player 1. And all box will have some number written on it. So why it is written we will discuss later. There is some benefit of it. So for now we can see player 1 got 5 boxes. Similarly 0th index of player 2 is four so player two will get four boxes these are the four boxes i have drawn it here also okay so box they got now they have to pack it and they will pack it and they will get the score and score is like this the number of box they will pack they will get that much score so player one will pack five box so player one will get score five now you will say that player 1 can pack 4 also but no it is given that how many boxes you will get you have to pack it all so player 1 will get 5 box he has to pack it all so he will get score 5 similarly player 2 will get score 4 now you will say that it is very simple to check the score of every player just we will need this number because this number only say how many box he will get and we know that he, will, he has to pack all the box so he will get that number that much score so yes in this way we will calculate the score okay so see how simple it is going so similarly suppose there had been another player having uh, 9 boxes so he will get 9 score on the spot okay so this was the first method to get the score now there is one more criteria so that's why I have written the first one. If a player packs n boxes, then n points will be added to his score. 
एंड प्लेयर हैज टू पैक ऑल द बॉक्सेस सो दिस वी हैव डिस्कस्ड नाउ सी सेकेंड वन सो देर इज प्रोविजन ऑफ एक्स्ट्रा पॉइंट्स एंड दैट विल बी गिवेन टू ईच प्लेयर डिपेंडिंग ऑन नंबर ऑफ यूनिक स्वीट्स दे पैक नाउ हाउ वी विल सी वाट आर द यूनिक स्वीट्स सो दैट्स वाई द नंबर्स वे आर गिवेन सो ईच नंबर हैविंग ईच बॉक्स हैविंग सम नंबर इन ऑर्डर टू सी वेदर इट हैज यूनिक स्वीट्स और नॉट टू डिफ्रेंशिएट बिटवीन टू बॉक्सेस नाउ द बॉक्स हैविंग नंबर थ्री एंड नंबर फोर obviously will have different sweets so this box 3 will have suppose a sweet name x then the box 4 will have that sweet having name y it will have different sweets similarly 3 and 1 have different sweets 4 and 1 different so in player 1 number of different sweets are 5 because all boxes are different okay so in simple word you have to see the numbers so since all the numbers are unique it means all sweets are unique and based on that how many unique sweets you will pack you will get some score so if number of unique sweets packed is 4 you will get one extra point if number of unique sweets packed is 5 you will get two extra point if number of unique sweets packed is greater than equal to 6 you will get four extra points and that's all this is the only two way to calculate the score so i think it is very simple we will calculate the score we will see who is the maximum score that will be the winner okay so see how simple we are going so <clears throat> now i hope you understand the question now try to calculate the score of each player and one more thing player 1 will be radha so they have given this name so radha is organizer of this game so always by default player 1 will be radha so instead of saying player 1 you have to say radha but after that you can say player by number so this is radha this is player 2 next is player 3 and so on okay now see the score how to score it so we will calculate the score of each player and then we will calculate the winner so score of radha will be simple as i told you number of box packed 5 so 5 will be added to score and this 5 we can get from here also so whatever number you have here just add it to the score okay now for extra we have to check how many unique boxes they packed so player 1 that is radha will pack five unique boxes because all are unique 3 4 1 2 6 all are unique so she will pack five unique boxes and for five unique boxes point added will be 2 okay so i added it 5 plus 2 7 so score of radha is 7 now see score of player 2 so initially i will add 4 by default because four box he has to pack and he be has to pack means four point given so just see this number add it now for the extra one we have to say we have to see how many unique so out of this 1 2 1 2 how many unique are there i hope you got it two uniques are there one and two it means player two packed only two unique sweets out of 1 2 1 2 two unique number are there number one and number two now for two unique sweets there is no extra point you can see points is for four unique sweets five and greater than six greater than equal to six so for two unique sweets there is no point so i have given 0 point to player 2 so player 2 got four points now we got the points or scores of all the players just see who is maximum will be the winner so radha is maximum radha is winner okay so see how simple it was this was the question they have asked so <clears throat> if there had been more players we will just do the same things okay now see the code so this is the code in python as i told you for code of java uh, sorry this is code in java for code of python and c++ you can go through the video i have already uploaded okay so now see the code line by line if you have any doubt in any uh, part of the code you can write in the comment section 
so this is first the scanner class next we will take the input n which will be the number of player or number of player playing the game and now we have this array list in this array list we will push all the scores of each player okay now for all the n players we are moving one by one and calculating the score so this m is this zeroth index which will determine how many box we have so we have taken this m and now as i told you initial score will always be m because that much box we know he will pack it so initial score for uh, player 1 will always be 5 similarly for player 2 will always be 4 because that much box he has to pack and he will get point so score equals to 1 i have already taken for that player now i have declared this set and i hope you all got it why set to get the unique number because we want the unique number and based on that set now that set will store the unique only numbers and then we will take the size of it so suppose 3 4 1 2 6 is there if you push it into the set then what will be the size of that set 5 but if you push 1 2 1 2 in the set set will be something like this 1 and 2 so we will take its size that much unique values we have okay so as simple as that so same thing is here we declared a set and one by one for all the m boxes we appended that number into this set and then after appending all the numbers we will check how many unique is there so unique we will get by size of set because size always store unique now we will check if there are four unique boxes four unique suites then increase the value by one or increase the score by one give one extra score if number of unique suites packed is five increase the score by two if it is greater than equals to six increase the score by four i already told you these are the extra scores which depends on how many unique numbers you have okay so in this case two unique numbers so that thing we have checked it here the size of the set based on it we will give the extra points now once we uh, each player got all the points all the scores we will append into final ans that is answer vector uh, sorry answer list okay so now our final array or array list will contain the score of each player so next thing what we have to do is like this now for the output there are three cases if radha is winner output radha but if there are two or more winner it is also possible so if there are two or more winner output tie but if there is only one winner but it is not radha so you have to output that player number like player 2 player 3 and so on so for that we have to find out what is maximum number so that we can keep track of how many winner are there so i have stored this maximum here and one by one i'm checking the scores of all player and i'm checking how many have that maximum so that all will be the winner i hope you are getting it okay so each player having the maximum value I am increasing the count of winner count so that many winner we have so if you did not get let me explain with the help of this so let us say final answer uh, array list we have something like this let us see first case so if if suppose we have some players uh, all are having the scores three seven two six six seven now what we will do we will at first calculate the maximum so in this case it will be seven so we know that who all player having the score 7 will be the winner because this is the maximum score so we will check one by one so this is not winner yeah it could be win it could be not it must be winner because it has this player has score 7 which is maximum so this is one winner now this cannot be 6 also cannot be 6 also no. now this again 7 
so we have two winner so the same thing i am doing here one by one i am checking who all are having maximum score that many winners we have okay so we got the winner count so final things now if winner count is greater than equals to 2 it means more than 2 winner print tie like in this case we have two winner player 2 also winner and player 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 also winner so two winner means tie but if there is only one winner suppose winner count is 1 then we will check is it radha or not so we will check the index of that winner so that's why i am also storing the index so if the index is 0 and uh, winner is only 1 it means it is radha we will print radha and if winner count is 1 but it is not radha then we will print that player number like this let us see the second case okay so in this case maximum is 10 we will check how many having 10 so only one so we will check is it radha so index is not zero it means it is not radha so we will output this player number so this is player two three four this is player four so we will print four now but index is three because indexing start from zero zero one two three so this player has index three but we not say index three we say player four so that's why we have done plus one okay so this is all and final case there is only one winner having maximum 10 which is radha so we print radha okay so this was the all uh, things i hope i made it uh, means uh, i make you understand it and uh, yeah one more thing let me run this then only we will check whether it is true or not so let us try taking two player and uh, let me make it a tie so one 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 or one four also I can... yeah we can see it is a tie why because this player is also having score one this also having score one okay so it will be tie now try some more let us make radha winner so let us take five one two four seven six four three. yeah you can see radha is winner why because radha will get five point plus five are unique so extra two point so radha will get seven point and player two will get four point plus one extra five point so radha is winner okay now let us try some more let us make another player winner so one four two five six five one two three four five okay you can see player three is winner because radha is only one point player two has uh, two point and player three has five point and plus two extra point seven point so player three is winner so it will print three okay so see how simple it was and uh, um, keep on practicing i have tried my best to make you understand and i have already uploaded different types of videos of different uh, topics also uh, from um, whatever question they have asked i have discussed it code also you will get it if you want the code in the comment section you can say so i will put it there also and uh, that's all from my side. Best of luck guys. Keep on practicing. Keep on learning. Thank you. Take care.